Well hi guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to review another new Ghost Adventures episode, Hotel San Carlos. Oh, come on, let's go. Hopefully it's as good as the last few episodes. Opened in 1928, the San Carlos was a state-of-the-art hotel in downtown Phoenix. Over the next few decades, it would host celebrities, socialites, and high-ranking politicians. But beyond the glamour lies a darkness that has been known to drive people mad. This location has been plagued by suicide and tragedy. The question as is, as 2004, an unidentified man took his life here. Is there a demon here? That's what I want to know. Here to find out why the San Carlos was named one of the most haunted hotels in the country. Leon Jensen checked into the San Carlos on May 7th, 1928. She wrote multiple suicide notes. It was 1.15 a.m. She took the stairway to the roof where she jumped to her death. A patrolman wow. found her body in a heap on the sidewalk near the corner of the hotel. Take some guts to do that and some His very disturbing energy. Down here at the San Carlos. But to this day, no one is certain why. Very first school in Phoenix, 1874. There was a little wow. one-room adobe structure, and that served the community for about five years. In subsequent years, the school was enlarged several times. But in 1916, after 43 years of service, the structure was condemned. With construction of the Hotel San Carlos in mind, Local mm. legend states that when the original school still stood, countless children met their untimely demise plummeting to their deaths in the well on the property. Wow. This well still resides in the basement of the hotel. How many poor souls may still lay entombed beneath the San Carlos? They're in the kitchen now. Okay. Now, lightweight enough. Been leaning up against here for months. And one day last summer, as I was walking back through here, I was about three foot from it, and it lifted up and shot across there. It went horizontally? Horizontal in front of me, shot across there, bounced off the refrigerator, what? and landed on the floor. Are you serious? Uh -huh. So you were standing here, and this literally... I was walking, I, like I was coming from the other direction. Like a javelin. Here and hit the fridge. <laughs> hit, hit the fridge, and then landed on the floor. Aaron, yeah. do you have any tape? What we're going to do is, because of this, I'd like to... Aaron, you listening? Yeah. And uh, where's your tape? I want the old Ghost Adventures tape. Oh, yeah. You know, it was a 50-50, dude. X-Cam. Sometimes you want it, sometimes you're like, no. So, I, I mean, we can't... I, mean, I always want it. Dude. It's always somebody I'm else's fault. I'm actually playing... You know, you always have no, 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 the Daniel takes us beneath the pool where he personally experienced something disturbing. So this is not a guest oh, area. No, not at all. So but this is the actual pool, so like people would be swimming in there. Right. Anything you see can you see down there? Yeah. This is where Oh wow, uh, Daniel looks like Tupac. Uh, maybe maybe ten feet over that way. Down under there working on the glass. <laughs> Nobody it could possibly be in the pool. Nobody could knock on the concrete of the pool deck. 
Did you feel anything with it? Was it just the sound? Did you get any Ghost kind of vibe? Just wants to happened? swim, that's all. The hair on my arm stood up. Right. <laughs> like, like, I was kind of doing it again, just talking about it. So is that like a common occurrence here for you? Like working nights all the time, like do you hear stuff all the time? Constantly. If children Bangs, noises, well voices. Us, could the pool be acting as a conduit for their restless spirits? Water is a great attraction for spirit energy. Now your experience was down here. This room at the end of the hall. What happened down here? When I've stayed in, stayed in that room, I'll be here, be laying there, and knowing that there's nobody else on, you know, on any on the upper floors, and I'll still hear the voices standing outside there. And I would you hear people talking out here? Yes, in the hallways. Yes, and almost as clear as as I can hear you. Could be residual I'll, voices. Yeah, so I call, then I'll call down to the front desk and I was like, you know, well, who's in the hallway? Look on the cameras or anything like that, and right, no, nobody's here. You're you're up there on that floor by yourself. So they're still here. Right. They're still continuing on, talking, going about their personal lives. Residual hauntings, residual voices. Uh, interlaced within ours. And I want to peek through that and go as deep as we can to get those conversations with those spirits and see if we can communicate between two worlds. So Zach is going next door to Leona's room. Aaron? Yeah. Come here. Hey. Listen. Shh. Quiet. Okay. The next room has a police not disturbance. Crack. The light is on. So. Does that mean there's people in there? Time out. You were we, in there? We, all five, six, seven are completely vacated. Seriously? There, there's nobody on these floors. We came to the next door and there was a light on here. I literally saw a shadow. <laughs> Open the door. Go, 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 go. They're running away. Is it a dead the person? Aaron opens the door. A putrid odor fills the hallway. Aaron, come here. This smells smoke. Nobody should be in that room. No. Nobody should be in any of these rooms. That was strong smoke. And I saw a black shadow in there. A demon is often accompanied by a smoky soul. Yay, demons in it. I feel like Leon is here because I feel that like that sadness. But there's something bad here. Is it possible a demonic force had an influence over Leon? But why else would you what jump? Was what was that? What was that? The beds look like they've been used. Slept in. Get them and let's go. Anything happen with them in there? I just have a really bad feeling. Nothing? Well, no, there's some weird... Weird readings. Weird readings. Weird readings. Weird readings. Zach and I are in a lot of running. Weird readings like, were happening. I feel really... And like Billy... Something's in here. It's Leona and, and Jay and the couple are just stu staying there. Else. What is... What's wrong with her? They're feeling something. Something's happening as soon as we left. Should we leave them in there? No, there's what a spike. What's she feeling? What's with the spikes? A small spike Boy, on the trifield meter. Then it is that evil person. It's there's something, something that's evil. not good. In that two point something. Well, it was like holding two, which is weird. Like it's just like it's not a lot though. In You're inside a building that has electricity. The electricity is on. The lights are on. A two spike is not really that much. Well, I thought he was going to come out. Something was going to come out and get me. Like that's why I was like, get out now. You can feel it. See, they're using the new digital trifill meter. This is an original trifill meter. So they'll get spike. Like a dial spike rather than a number. So these are very rare. So the re Zach has been just done a recording on the DR60, and it sounds—he thinks it sounds like I don't want you. Okay, it is now 
time to start our lockdown here at Hotel San Carlos. We have floors five, six, and seven completely empty, and it's dark up there. We have X cameras rolling on every single floor. Jay, I want you to go down there. Jeff, come in here. This is Jeff, our equipment tech, and also our inventor, electrical engineer. Jeff has a brand new device here. I want you to go in the basement with Jay, and while you're down there, I want you guys to really try to focus in on trying to make contact with these little children's spirits that are said to Creepy. be roaming these halls, and if they're lost, maybe you can communicate with them. As Jay and Jeff make their way down into the basement, Aaron, Billy, and I head to floor five, but upon arrival, something changes my mind. We just got to floor five, and I don't know, I had this urge to go to floor seven. I've been getting these weird urges, like I did on that one floor six, remember was it? Yeah. yeah. Up you go. I just felt like we have to go to this floor. Hello, we're gonna get off on your floor, okay? Did you just hear no? Yes. yes. It just went no. Yeah, female. A disembodied female voice say no. You can faintly hear it on our audio. Hello, we're gonna get off on your floor, okay? No. No. Did you just hear no? Yes. yes. It just went no. That's pretty cool. Did you all hear a female go, no? Yeah, yeah. Clear as day. Like it was standing right there by the door. And you can see we're on the seventh floor. There's nobody up here. There's no windows. It's outside. Aaron? Yeah. What are you doing, bro? What are you doing? Yeah, I heard about, uh, another voice. Stay back here with us, bro. I'm just tell me what's happening. You want to, like, let's go. Seriously, it's like just getting softer and softer. I thought I heard something. Life after jumping from the roof on May 7th, 1928. She stayed in room 720. Leo, can I please come over and talk to you? That Billy feels dizzy. Now the lamp turns on. Why that like a one? Is it a motion lamp? I want to note that the only way to turn on this lamp is by the pull chain, and you can see they are not even moving. Okay, fair enough. That thing, it just went on by itself. Well, it literally went on by itself. Nobody had a fucking camera on it. The shit just went on by itself. It just itself. came on. I thought you just turned the light on. Whoa! What, what the, the fuck, fuck, was fuck was that? What was that? I don't know. What was that, dude? Something slammed over there. Right yeah. behind you. Where's the clock? Where's the clock? Did the clock just fly off the back? Yes. Where's the fucking clock? Whoa, whoa, bro. It's sitting whoa. right there. Look. It's in the back of the... It's in the back. Look. Against the wall behind the unit, like a bedside cabinet. What is happening right now is incredible. As I'm sitting in the chair away from the nightstand, this alarm clock somehow falls behind the nightstand. It's about that big. Nobody had a fucking camera on it. The shit just went on by itself. just came on. I thought you just turned the light on. Whoa, what the fuck was that? Look at my chair. It's not even touching that. I know. Chain of events. I felt nauseous over there. I went to move to get a better shot. The lamp turns on. You sit in the chair, and then something, the clock flies off the nightstand behind you. Because of all Weird. this activity, I set up a full spectrum X camera to cover most of the room. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my God. So Zach's getting spikes on the trifield meter. Near Billy. Is there somebody near Billy? If you want to communicate with us, give us your power. What are you doing to me? Show us how strong you are. Turn the light on again. Aaron, look at this. Oh, it's really reactive to Billy. That's crazy. Why are you just keeps... Whoa! Mm. Just went all the way up to a six. Look at... Over here, it's nothing. It's just a zero baseline reading. She's sitting on the bed over here. She's sitting on the bed. Next to Billy. <laughs> At this moment, as Aaron is standing here, the door from the other room closes by itself. It's gone. What did it get up to? It is door? gone, Aaron. Do you see this? That is incredible, ladies and gentlemen. What the fuck was that, bro? Whoa. Are you fucking serious? How did that door just shut? Bro, I was walking over here. Door just shuts on its own. Wow. Are you fucking serious? How did that door just shut? Bro, I was walking over here. Whatever was that? 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 Whatever
was right here. This needle was dancing up to a seven. Yeah, I was watching it. And it just seven. left. Yeah, and it just left to a zero. It left, and then the door shut. Wow. Is that tissue with blood on? What? What the fuck happened in here? What is that, dude? Blood. That is blood, dude. That is blood. What was that? Was there someone trying to get in the door? I don't know. Dude, I have a really weird fucking feeling. I know, bro. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 what the fuck, dude? What the fuck was that, bro? What was that? Dude! What was that? Go out, go out. This cam on top does is it brings the facial features into focus, and this will give a full 3D face. Oh, wow. As Jeff monitors the new camera, Jay submerges a microphone into a bucket so of Jeff, water on top of the so, well. So Jeff and Jay are down EVP. in the and cellar as basement. This, one of the motion activated balls starts lighting up. Trying to contact the children next to the well. Are you here in the well? Cat ball lighting up. I would like to hear your voice. Were you playing down here? And you fell down the well? Right after this anomaly passes by Jay, he hears a child's voice. Well, there is a humming down there, like a static. Now listen to hmm. this. At the same moment, the underwater microphone captures the voice more clearly and with tone. This is chilling. <laughs> See, when when you have a spirit box going, um, you get white noise, and you you quite often get activity because of the white noise gives them uh, energy frequency that they can communicate with so they're doing the Estes method did you speak to us in the, from the other room did you shut the door talk to me Stay out. So Zach's got headphones on. Stay out. They're using the PSP7 Stay spirit out. box. Aaron's being touched. Is this spirit taunting Aaron as he is worried about his neck? You're dead. You're dead? Maybe. Back at the well, Jay tells the child spirit to follow him over to Jeff's facial recognition camera. I want you to follow me over here. So the camera will 3D map a face if it captures one. This amazing moment as a child's face slides into frame with a very distinct smile. <laughs> Is that how it works? No way, dude. You're over there. So Billy and Aaron are in a room on the top corridor. I heard the door open. Billy's got the XLS. I know. The doors are locked. We have the master key. How is that even possible? Something came from that other room, the connecting room. The door opened. Wow. They should all be locked, they've got the keys. The door just shut. That's a creepy door noise. <laughs> In an absolutely shocking moment, the guys witness and capture the bathroom door closed by itself. It's 
weird. And as they return to examine it, the door is now cracked back open. How is that even possible? I watched this bathroom door shut, dude. Oh, wow. Hey, I just did the fastest sweep through this room to look. There's, there's no way there's to open that door. So they shut it so that them two would leave and then they put it back. Wow. You have it shutting on camera. I have it shutting. You didn't hear it shut? Then why was the door just open? If you caught it shutting, then we ran off. Right. Should it be shut right now? We just yes, it, it should be open. shut. It That's should what be I shut. It was cracked open. I used my foot and kicked it okay. open. weird so there we go guys another episode complete wow some of the responses they were getting while the night went on were incredible so we had doors opening and closing we had spikes on the trifield meter on two occasions at least we had shadows that that weird face that jeff captured on his new his new camera don't really know how that works to be fair so i'm not going to comment on that one you had the clock moving behind Zach in that bedroom that went down the back. I mean, that wasn't touched. Crazy, crazy, crazy episode. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you next week for another Ghost Adventures episode. See you later.